Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and today we're just going to do a real quick holiday card uh, using Lawn Fawn dies. We're going to feature the rubber stamp tapestry peg stamps because we all know they're my favorite, and lots of inks. So I'm using the stamp set Deck the Halls, it's beautiful poinsettias um, with holly leaves and everything Christmas. So first, the wonky dies making an appearance, and I'm going to cut out my panel so that we have that set, because then we want to take the Lawn Fawn ornament die, and we want to set that on this panel to create the cutout, and we want I want to put that off to the side. I don't want that exactly centered. We're then going to, I have some gold shimmer paper and some black and that's going to use for the ornament topper and the string that holds the ornament so we'll actually work with those a little bit later we've got a lot of stamping and trying to figure things out to do so i'm going to use the real red from stampin up i want to get my sentiment on here and this sentiment is absolutely beautiful it simply says joy and it's from an echo park stamp set um, I will definitely link it below. Um, they also have another sentiment in there, I believe. I think I, I used it in another video. Um, but I, I just love the sentiments that are in there and some of the images. So I'm now going to take this panel, and I want to mark where that opening is when it comes to the cutout on the design panel that we have. Of course, I'm going to be using a four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card base with my Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock and once I have it marked where that is I'm going to use the cutout the the insert piece and I'm going to draw around that that'll be a little bit wider than what the actual opening is just in case I don't erase all of the pencil marks so lots of inks so first I'm going to use love letter and ladybug I really tend to go to my memento dewdrops when it comes to the peg stamps. It's just easier to maneuver. It's easier to work with for me. It doesn't mean that you cannot use other inks. I mean, I, Lord knows we all have all kinds of inks. Um, sometimes when you use a lot of colors, it's just easier to have the dewdrops or the small squares. So the beauty of this peg stamps you you just stamp away so I use the two colors to do the poinsettias I'm now bringing in the holly leaf I'm going to use new sprout and bamboo leaves and again they have a registration mark a line that's on the peg and you just want to know where that is in relationship to your stamp so that you can just keep turning it and angling it and placing the stamp wherever you want it I'm moving very quickly I've gone through the one color, here's the second color. And again, you don't, the beauty of these stamps is you don't have to be perfect. It's okay if you overlap. It's okay if it's not perfectly butted up against it. Okay, next I'm using the pine cone and I'm using rich cocoa for that and just placing those throughout as well. I do find that when it comes to these stamps, go from the largest down to the smallest. And then that seems to work out better. The greatest, the great thing about this stamp set is there's a lot of small little tiny ones. Like here's a little tiny uh, branch, like a twig type thing. So I'm using um, olive when it comes to the ink color. And I'm just placing those around. And you can see I'm, I'm going down into the point. I'm coming up along the sides. I'm making it uneven. Again, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. This is now like a, a viney twig. <laughs> I'm not sure what else you would call it. And again, I chose to do this in a, a very dark color. And again, all the colors that I used will be listed below. Um, you could use a red. I chose the darkest red rhubarb stalk to put the dots for the center of my poinsettias. I don't know if that's supposed to be the center of the poinsettias, but why not? Okay, so you can do anything you want with these stamps. When I reviewed this, I noticed I missed going down into the point. So I'm just going to grab the, the leaf, the holly leaf real quick, and just fill that in. 
dead. You don't have to, um, there's, there's not a lot of precision that we have to do. Again, we're creating. And again, it needs to be fun. I do love these stamps. Um, I think they are great. They mix and match with each other. They're perfect for just little tiny accents. They are, they are all pulled out on my table right now. Um, because I always give gift tags, actually, as gifts. I know, that sounds funny. Um, so that's, they, I use them a lot on my gift tags to design them. So back to the project. So I've put some foam tape on the back of that panel, and I've placed it down on my card. So the panel is raised up, and the design's down onto the card base. So again, just giving us a little bit of dimension I'm going to add a piece of foam tape to the ornament topper. And again, I chose that to be glow, uh, glued. Mm -hmm. gold glitter paper from my stash. And then I used black for the tie or the string that comes down for the ornament. This was a really pretty project or a very quick project as well. And actually, I, I think this became... Uh, my card for the year to to give with my presents. Um, I really like it, the simplicity of it. You can make it even more fancy. You can add some um, glitter pen to it. You can add some star stardust around the outside. There's all ways to make it even fancier and even more embellished. So I hope this gives you an idea. You don't have to use the peg stamps for this, but I encourage you to check out their website. Their link and all the materials that I used will, be, will, as always, be linked below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We have a great time here. Um, we learn from each other. We, we talk within each of the videos, which I think is great. If you have any comments or questions, I encourage you to leave them below as well. Thank you, everyone, for supporting me. And remember, always be creative.